Hello, my soccer universe, and welcome to part one of my 1920 Champions League jersey review. I'm gonna do it again group by group. Uh, for every video, if I can, I will wear the jersey of one of the group <laughs> members. So today it's PSG, could have chosen Real Madrid as well, but I thought this is the nicer jersey also. It has the old Nike logo, which is probably something that uh, we know will, will feature a lot. And given the first match that, that all Nike teams, almost all Nike teams, were wearing their third jerseys. So that's part of me choosing that. I used to like PSG a lot more than Real Madrid, now it's kind of... <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so I'm gonna go group by group, but I will order the teams uh, somewhat alphabetically, but um, you know, it's not... You will see that Bayer Leverkusen, I will call just Leverkusen, so it goes under the L category. Um, this uh, time, for this video, the things are a little bit more clear with uh, Brugge, Galatasaray, PSG and Real Madrid. Although Madrid, no, it's Real Madrid for me, so it goes under R. So uh, that's that. Uh, yes, there will be some overlap between the uh, teams that I already covered in the top four leagues. I still want to do France. Uh, let's see when I will get to do that. Probably that will be after Europa League or something like, like that. So I will still talk about it. I will give out the same grades, but I, because I made a note for myself on that, but I will probably talk something slightly different. I might even change the grade. Uh, it happened last season, it might be as well, if you see something in match, uh, things might change. So that's that. Um, and I also, uh, for teams that I do not do the leagues, it's, you know, smaller, uh, not out of the top, top five, if they have dedicated Champions League jerseys, I'm also going to cover the regular league jerseys because um, I want to give those teams some love too. At least where I know this is happening, it might be that it passes me by and then I need you to drop a comment below and I will tag this on if it catches me on time. Anyway, let's get started and we'll start with a jersey that I've seen enough of. <laughs> to, to be honest, this is Club Bruges. Uh, who of course beat my beloved Lusk in the Champions League playoffs and this jersey I've seen in Linz uh, playing and of course in the away game too. It's not a classic Bruges jersey I have to say. Uh, I would expect black and blue stripes similar to an Inter kit, the, just the Ajax look with the blue down and then the black on the sides doesn't quite do it to me. I have to say that um, maybe I don't know Bruges too well, maybe this has been a look once, I honestly don't like it as a Bruges look. It's not a bad looking jersey per, per se, but um, to me it's a little bit too much black and too little blue. I do like actually the color, you know, you have the, you have the crew neck and I get a little bit of a blue. I like the sleeve cuffs, but I would at least wish that the sleeves were blue as well. A nice feature, although you cannot really make it out that well, is if behind the crest it says one in the blue stripe and then I think uh, it for sure says club and then other um, three things as well. I could not make these out. I saw this in match. I looked at pictures. Uh, please let lab know what it should be. But as I said, uh, it's a little bit too little blue. It doesn't make all that much sense. And for that reason, uh, Now I'm only give this four stars because the look doesn't comply too much. If it if it had blue sleeves, we could talk five to six to be honest. But uh, like like this, it's just a little bit too much leaning to one color and too far away from a classic look. The waiters of a Bruges is usually red. Now we take this darkish red with some triangles in there. We also have kind of this is a color that Macron really likes with that kind of gets pointed uh, towards the front looks very much 90s in a way i wish there was a little bit you know you have the navy and then the maroon it's also at least we call it also uh gives too little contrast in my opinion with the black jersey i think a brighter red might work better to be honest <coughs> so just because of that I like that they try to do something different, but uh, it doesn't quite connect with me. So only five stars here, and then there's a third jersey where I don't have a nice one, but nice pic picture. 
the one thing uh, that uh, off the bat I do not like is, pro is the monochromatic crest because I think here a full color crest would work fine but everything else is really nice uh, you have the light blue which provides the counters. I still would like to see a white one to, to be honest. I really like the color. It's kind of, it's a crew neck, it's a v-neck and it's a shirt. It does everything, but uh, it looks interesting. It also has the gold in there and then uh, the spawns on the heart, no glory on it. Also really connects well with me. I just think that you really could do at least a center part, make it in uh, black and blue in the crest. That is probably the only thing, but other than that, this is probably the nicest of the bunch, I have to say. Um, I'm gonna give this uh, 7 stars, I think it's smart, it looks nice, uh, and it will be probably more worn than the red one, at least in the Champions League, I could imagine. But who knows what we will see. I have to actually, I, I, I have not made in my mind the uh, possible jersey matchups in this group. Let's move on to the second team in this group, Galatasaray, uh, who sports a very interesting look. First off, I mean, it's a classic Galatasaray shirt, at least on the front, where, you know, you have to have half look, but then with alternating sleeves. And what I can take from front sleeves, probably it alternates on the back as well, which is the classic Galatasaray look. Uh, it should look the same from the front as it does on the back. Uh, so that, I think, is great. Um, I had the black collar, adds a nice touch to it. The one thing that's a little bit odd is the stripes going down. There are three stripes, it's kind of, uh, it doesn't, it, it kind of wants to hint at that sometimes Galatasaray also uses striped jerseys. And um, I found the other day a, a website where they went through, where there's the history of Galatasaray jerseys, and especially in the 90s, they went nuts with striped jerseys, half and half jerseys. Uh, so this fits right in there. I have to say the stripe actually makes this jersey a little bit worse than it would be if it was just plain. I, I honestly have to say. Uh, if we wouldn't have these stripes in there, I would give this uh, 9, if not 10 stars. With that, we are only talking 6 to 7, and let's give it 7. Uh, although I'm awaiting the sponsor here, which probably some, uh, yeah, but I, still, even with sponsor, I think we, we, we can stay that way. Um, the away jersey is something different for a while, and I also like it. It kind of looks, uh, takes a beige, but really pairs it nicely. The color really looks extraordinary. I have to say, uh, especially since it uh, gets both clubs colors in and also the sleeve cuffs are really nice, nice low looking jersey. Uh, not necessarily crazy about the color, but on a weight, weight jersey, really cannot complain much. I think this is even better look looking than the home jersey. I would give this uh, eight stars. Uh, but there's not much nice I can say about the third jersey, which kind of takes this striping pattern from the home jersey with the half-half look, but it just, uh, it doesn't make it work. It's gray, dark gray and light gray, which doesn't look all that well to, to be honest. So, I mean, you have this half and half design, but then it focuses too, too much on the two grays. Um, and what's worse is that I think the sleeves also should be alternating. I think you need a dark sleeve on the right shoulder uh, to kind of make it work better. That way it looks completely disbalanced and weird. Then this is worn, uh, we saw it uh, last week, with red numbers and so the color bleed from, from this, it doesn't look great, it actually looks kind of light pinkish and really this jersey does not work with me. Uh, I don't like it at all. I'm actually willing to give this even one star. It, it, there's just too much wrong. I don't like gray. I don't like the striping pattern. I don't like how it looks on the field. It's, it's a terrible jersey. Um, one that I would say next or back to the drawing board. Okay, let's go to the CD team, PSG, and we look here at the home jersey. And I have to say, I only saw now three PSG jerseys. They won for the... Um, no organization will release a black one. We will probably see the least of this blue jersey here, although I hope we will see it uh, at the time because it actually looks quite nice. It tries to get us this classic PSG look that I'm wearing here. However, uh, the navy is a little bit too much and there's too much white on it. If the white were just pinstripes and we had a thicker red stripe, I actually would like this a lot, uh, I have to say. But this is the best PSG jersey in a while. 
uh, that's for sure to me. Uh, the new sponsor I do like as well. I again do not like how it has to be break uh, how it breaks the nice striping pattern down the center. I honestly don't know how I would make it better except that yeah. I mean this the accord life limitless is just too long. Just if it's ALL, I think that would be uh, more than enough. I would widen the red, make the white a little, a little, little bit less, and maybe even let it go up until the logos. But overall, it's a very pleasing looking shirt. I have to say, for that, I give it eight stars. Uh, the away jersey is your Jordan kit. I understand red, but this is kind of this is somewhere between red and orange with black accents. I think I would like blue a little bit better, but you know, we want to be fashionable. Um, it is the same, we've seen this already with Inter at the away jersey, a similar temp template. I don't like that the color stops here. Um, that's just a little bit too little going for it. I mean, the color choice is probably the most defensive part of it. Uh, the Jordan logo will make sure that it will send a, uh, sell a lot of jerseys of this one. But other than that, really, it's not all that great. This is only a three star to me. Um, the third jersey that they wore against Real Madrid at home, um, that one actually looks really great. Uh, that, that would be to me a proper away jersey. And it's a nod to the first Nike home jersey that PSG had. Actually PSG for a while was wearing white at home with this uh, red and blue somehow. They even had one with an Eiffel Tower which is for me the most iconic PSG shirt except for the classic one. Um, shown here is that the sponsor kind of bleeds into the red stripe when they wear it on the pitch it actually doesn't intrude which makes it even look better. Maybe the one thing that is not so working well is the diagonal pattern because you have this vertically strong element and this diagonal pattern you only see here if, if you're in a close-up. Uh, it says Paris in there which is alright um, but I think I could have done without that or if you do it also make it align with the vertical pattern. Uh, that's maybe the only downside of it but it's a beautiful looking jersey. Absolute beautiful look, look looking jersey. Um, my favorite PSG jersey this uh, season around and I'm between 9 and 10 on this one. Maybe because the diagonal doesn't work that much. I mean, the way it looks here with the sponsor bleeding in, it's only a 9. But since they, they moved the sponsor and it really looks sharp, I'm going to give this 10 stars because it's a really nice one. A really nice one. One of the, in my opinion, one of the best third jerseys that Nike produced this season. And then we're at the favorites, maybe not, after what we've seen. Real Madrid, we already saw the uh, first jersey, um, which takes a classic Real Madrid look. I mean, it's white, it has the gold on there. Uh, why now? I gotta, I gotta gotta ask, because, you know, the golden period of Real Madrid seems, seems to be over, so the gold is a little bit misplaced, in my opinion. Not necessarily I'm crazy about the color, but this is copying the Nike style from 2016. We are in a copycat world, unfortunately. But overall, the jersey looks quite nice and well put together, and for that, I said I La Liga jersey was eight stars. It's a really nice one. For the away jersey, that is one of my favorite jerseys this season. Uh, this navy blue in two-tone where there's a nice pattern on there really looks sharp. The golden accents, perfect. Even the monochromatic dress, although I'm not so crazy about it usually, looks great on it. The one thing where I think they dropped the ball just slightly, and that prevents it from being a 10-star jersey to me, is the black or really deep navy uh, Adidas stripes. Though if those are golden, we're talking perfect. But if you, it do, uh, it doesn't bother me here on this picture. But if you see it in match, it really looks that they are detached and don't belong to the jersey. If those were golden, I think this would look that much better. It's just a small thing, but those small things kind of make me not want I like this jersey that that much. For that reason, I only can give this nine stars. Although I really would like to give this ten. Take the stripes off, take it away, or do something else uh, as with it. Make it golden. If this was golden, no, perfect. Perfect jersey. Absolutely perfect jersey. Uh, I like this one a whole lot, so 9 stars is not that bad. Uh, and I have to say, when I saw PSG 
play at home with Real Madrid in the, the third jersey and the Real Madrid had, had, had to play in the Navy. Um, those are two really, really nice jerseys uh, paired against each other. Nothing like nice I can say about the third jersey. Um, yeah, Arsenal last season, Inter this season, Real Madrid this season, it doesn't work. It just doesn't work, especially on the pitch. Uh, and it's a little bit too colorful. I don't like the color with the white and so on. There's just too much going on. Um, and if you make the white in there, I think the white would be actually better than the navy on this one. Then emphasize it on the crest as well. I just don't like it. I mean, we, we, this turquoise mint color on a soccer jersey, if one team uses it for once, that's all right, but now it becomes too much, and for that reason, I can only give this three stars. Well, that ends part number one of the Champions League jersey review. Um, hope you liked it. Drop a comment below what you thought about the church jersey in there, whether you agree and disagree with me. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these, especially the upcoming parts, and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates, all the news that are revolving in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day.